In this video, we will talk about the topics in class 11th and 12th that are in J syllabus, which you should not be studying in class 9th. Tenth. Okay, so I have made a lot of videos on topics which are the best for class 9th tenth students. Today, we are going to discuss topics which you will probably not be able to understand or even if you understand, it's not of good use to study them. Okay, uh, so let's start. But before starting, if you are new, do consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell icon. I'm not saying this for the sake of subscribers. I'm saying this because if you don't do it, then these videos will not be recommended to you. Okay, so please, if you want to watch these videos, please subscribe and press the notifications. So the first portion, which I think no one should study in class 9, 10 is calculus. Okay, now hear me out. I'm not talking about the basic differentiation integration kind of calculus that is something you can study and one resource which I suggest for that is the uh, physics and mathematics section of HC Verma book okay that's very good material for the basics of calculus and that is all you need okay in fact that is all you need in entire class 11th and even in 12th if you let go of the mathematics portion of J so that much is enough please don't study class 12 calculus where you study definite integration and all of those things okay they are of no use to you right now don't try to study it you will only waste time okay and i'm not saying that uh, none of you have the ability to understand this topic it's just that there are much better topics which are easier to understand and are more relevant in your context so it is better you study those topics instead of running after calculus calculus is a shiny name in the grass so a lot of students try to learn this stuff in class 11 uh, in class 9th or 10th and you know it just sounds cool don't fall for it there are other sections for example for example uh, class 11th algebra or trigonometry all of those things are more relevant to all the exams which will be appearing for in class 9th so that is the topic which i suggest you study in the beginning okay don't study calculus in depth right now the second portion which i think everyone should avoid is organic chemistry okay now you can study the organic chemistry which is in your class 9th syllabus maybe you can study a bit more than that as well but what you don't need to study is uh, the whole reaction thing okay you don't need to study organic reactions right now because there is literally zero exams in class 9 10th where organic chemistry is asked even in IJSO organic is not asked in fact I have personally talked to one of the uh, you know one of the people leadership people in the IJSO team uh, when I was in OCC and I asked him that uh, you know why is organic not asked then he himself clarified to me that organic is not asked because they don't expect it from a class 9 10 student and they will not be asking like he literally told me that uh, organic is not in the syllabus it is not asked and you will not find a single uh, uh, question of organic chemistry in any IJS or Olympiad nowhere you will find okay even in NTAC it's mostly class 9 10 only so study as much as is given in your class 9 10 book apart from that there is no use of going to class 11th and 12th and studying organic chemistry maybe if you want, you can study maybe that one single chapter in class 11, the first chapter of 11th, okay, where you study a bit of uh, maybe electronic effects and a bit of IUPAC and a bit of structural isomerism. That much is the maximum organic you should be studying in 9th and And the reason for that is because the organic in class 11, 12th is quite complicated and you cannot study it on your own. You need a proper teacher for that. And it is best to be studied in that sequence, okay. Plus there is no upside, okay. So if you study trigonometry, that has an upside because it is asked in a lot of exams or if you study kinematics uh, or you study projectile motion that has a clear upside because it will be asked in some exam what is the upside of studying uh, organic chemistry there is literally no upside because you can always study it in class 11th and 12th and it is not relevant at all so if you are done with your entire syllabus of class 11th 12th in class 9th then you can study organic all you want but before that it is better to stick to easier and more relevant topics okay the third section which I would say in physics all 12th in physics you should not study all of class 12th except for a few chapters which are electrostatics and current electricity I think that's it okay apart from that you should study only and only your class 11 physics okay because if you look at class 11 physics it is more relevant it is more real world it is more understandable for a 9th or 10th class student uh, and it, 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 it's not a big jump okay I mean, I mean it is a big jump obviously but it's still understandable if you go to class 12 then you will come across things like magnetism or electromagnetic induction or radioactivity and all these things are quite or uh, wave optics these things are not easy to grasp okay they are not something which which you can imagine out of thin air okay you'll have to spend some time studying physics before before you get to understand these topics and it is not relevant either okay if you look at a topic like projectile motion or work power energy or angular momentum these things are asked in let's say in ihso or astomy olympiad 
these are asked okay in such exams so there is a use of studying these topics if you don't study wave optics you will rarely find a topic you will rarely find an, a question of wave optics in a, any exam of class 9 it is very hard to find that okay so avoid class 12 physics because it's a bit hard to understand plus it is not asked in most of the exams okay so you can just let it go okay class 11th and even in 11th i would say mechanics should be your core focus okay because the other topics like thermodynamics i think they are easy to understand anyway and in chemistry you will study them so okay you will be able to do it or if you look at waves okay yeah you can study sound waves but again string waves and all that is not really needed okay but that is all still relevant all this emi and uh, magnetism all that is relatively less relevant according to me in class 9 10 okay so you can avoid this topic fourth i would say all memorization based memorization uh inorganic okay so you should study inorganic okay i'm not saying you should not study inorganic you should know periodic table and chemical bonding really well and if you get the time you can even study uh, coordination compounds because i have noticed that a few questions of coordination are asked in at least in ijs or later stages i have noticed so these are the chap chapters which are more conceptual and you can study but you don't need to study the p block s block d block kind of stuff from class 11 12 textbooks because it is not relevant plus they don't really see in any so the toughest exam in 9th is IHSO and they are not here to ask you such out of the world questions they are not here to test you on your memorization they want to test you on your concepts they will ask a conceptual question from periodic table or from chemical bonding they will ask you something like that they will not ask you p block some random you know ki acha uh, batao se black color ka kaun sa sulfate hai ya kaun sa brown hai they will not ask you these kinds of questions okay and even if they ask maybe a reading of ncrt is the maximum which i would suggest okay don't go beyond that uh, because i've seen some students who study jdl and all these books uh, in 9 10 it is useless okay because you should rather spend your time on class 11th chapters which are actually relevant instead of spending time on these okay so be smart about where you spend your time and memorizing 11th and 12th or inorganic chemistry is not worth it at all you have you will have lots of time in 11th and 12th plus if you memorize it now you will anyway forget okay when i was in 9 10 i used to memorize p block and all and i forgot it so there was no use of all of that okay so i think uh, these are the these are mainly the chapters which i would suggest you to stay away from and uh, yeah and basically you know what what i will say almost all class 12th okay you should avoid almost all of class 12 except for a few topics and those few topics are mathematics nothing uh, chemistry uh, i think electrochemistry you can check chemical kinetics you can check yeah i think that would be it okay uh, otherwise and maybe coordination compounds you can check otherwise everything else you should ignore in class 12th in chemistry and if we talk about physics then i think uh, geometrical optics electrostatics and current electricity i think these are the only topics you need to study from class 11 12th in class 9 10th if at all okay you can skip almost all of class 12th right now you should focus on covering as much of 11th class in class 9 10th itself because 11th is a lot more relatable to a 9 10 student than 12th okay and if you are able to cover your 11th itself or maybe even a percentage of 11th before you go out of class 10th trust me it will be huge it will be very huge okay so i hope you like this video this uh, list if you want more help in your j prep then you should definitely check out our j foundation course which is linked in the description section so basically that course will prepare you for your class 9 10th along with all the olympiads and exams you can give and it will also give you a foundation for the j exam because it will teach you some concepts till class 11 12 level as well so it has dpps test series all of these with complete solution everything is there so and it is it's at a very good pricing as well okay so you'll absolutely love it so go to the link in the description you will find the app and website there you can purchase the course thank you for watching good luck all the best like and subscribe